Hello viewers, first up disclaimer, this is not a financial advice and I am not a financial advisor, please use your discretion when making investment decisions. Today we are going to talk about Twitter and its performance over the last one year. Twitter stock, Twitter stock is today at 43.87 and let's see what it was one year back. One year back it was at around $17. At $17 if you would have invested a thousand dollars it would have grown by 257 2.57 times that is like it would have been twenty five hundred and seventy dollars um, and the return would have been hundred and fifty seven point eight six so basically it would have been more than twice 2.5 x let's look at This is the 200 day moving average which is at 26 and this is at around 32 which is 50 day moving average. It's trading at around $10 higher than its 50 day moving average which tells us like uh, a 25% roughly 20-25% move and from here it's close to $17. $17 over 40 is close to um, uh, 45 percent 40 percent uh, move so we'll have to wait and see if it would come back and it there will be a pullback to 32 if you see this over the last one year you see that these this is the 50 day moving average and you would see the actual prices hovering around this curve going up and then coming down and then going up and again coming down going below so at this rate I think there's going to be a pullback and it is going to go below uh, 32 close to 33 dollars and uh, Twitter is back in S&P and it's one of the best performing stocks in S&P right now but we'll have to wait and see what happens tomorrow fundamentally they're burning cash they're probably burning around five times their revenue um, we'll have to see if fundamentally this company improves which will actually bring in more money and that will actually give it a uh, 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 sustainable growth. Let's take a look at what the analysts are saying about this stock. So, so most of them have said it's in April to hold. So the the average score is hold, which is two point nine, which is hold. So we have around in June twenty one saying out of 36 21 saying to hold 10 saying underperform and and there are very few saying to buy and strong buy so at this point of time you either hold or you sell uh, even though the sell is like very small if you are looking at the long term you would want to hold but then fundamentally we'll have to see some changes which would actually bring in more revenue at the same time uh, we'll also have to based on the curve that we see we'll have to see uh, if this will come back down to the 50 day moving average that's all from me um, this is not a financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor please use your discretion when making uh, investment decisions thank you